Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Uh, today we're going to be doing this little Pokeball here. It's a quick fun little exercise. But before we get into it, I just want to mention uh, I've set up a membership program on YouTube where you can join as a member and you'll get certain perks ranging from loyalty badges, shout outs, uh, member only videos, which I'll be putting a couple out, virtual collaborations where we can work on your project. Uh, you can send me the video file and I will give my take on it and we'll upload that video to the channel. Another one of the perks available is a one-to-one -one sessions whenever you want. So if you're a member on that level, we can have one-to-one -one sessions where we can screen share and I will help you with your design in real time. So check it out. But for now, let's get started with our drawing. We're going to start this one off with a sketch on the front plane, which is what I usually like to do. Um, we're going to be using the revolve tool. So we've got two options here. Either we could use the center diameter circle and draw it out and then just cut off half. Or we can use the center point arc, which is what I'm going to go with. So create arc, center point arc, and we'll start it there at the origin. It's going to be 40 millimeters and 180 degrees. It snaps there nicely to 180. We'll do a second one, also snapped at the origin. This one will be 45 millimeters and 180 degrees. Please don't hate me too much if I get these dimensions wrong. I'm just kind of guessing. Uh, L for line tool and we'll close this profile up. So now we've got uh, two different profiles. We're going to turn that into three. So I'll go rectangle, two point rectangle, and draw that in the middle here. Then I will D for dimension, or you can just click up there, against the origin, and it's going to be 2.5 millimeters. We'll do another one, same as that, 2.5 millimeters. I can see this is not fully constrained, but that's not a problem because we're going to be getting rid of a bunch of these lines. The purpose of this uh, sketch is basically just to get that little gap there. Now I've got these three profiles here, the center, the top half and the bottom half. We're going to finish sketch. Now that we've got our sketch done, we're going to go to revolve. So we're going to do three revolves, the top half, the axis will be the Z axis over there. Okay. Second one, let's just turn our sketch back on. will be the bottom half, again the Z axis. And then our center. So we're going to select that profile, Z axis, and we just, just make sure that this is a new body and not a join. It just helps us when we set up the appearance just now. So I'm just going to turn the sketch off and go to a front view. So now we need to draw a little circle here to make a cutout for the button. To do that, I'm going to create a sketch or offset plane rather from the front plane and just drag it out. It doesn't need to be any specific distance so long as it's going out past the edge of our body. I'm going to create a sketch now on our new plane. It's going to be C for center diameter circle, and this is going to be 30 millimeters. Press enter and finish sketch. Now we're going to extrude it. So select extrude, and the extent type is going to be two object. An object will be our center ball there, and it's a cut operation. So you can see now when you select two object, it keeps the curvature of that ball and just cuts out whatever's in front of that object. That's also one of the reasons why I have separate bodies for this. We're going to do another construction plane, so construct offset plane, and this time it's going to be just a little bit behind the edge of our ball there. I'm going to go create sketch and our new plane. Again with the center diameter circle, this time we're going out to 25 millimeters. Next one will be 20 millimeters. And the last one is 19. 
so 19 millimeters and we're going to do two extrudes here so finish sketch extrude our center one it's no specific distance so let's just get a side view uh, maybe make that negative negative eight I want to see it coming just past negative eight no, that's not quite enough maybe negative nine is fine so I will just change this to new body select OK and then we'll repeat that step Just turn our sketch back on with the outer ring so negative nine was the number again new body okay before we go into put any color in this i'm just going to add a few fillers to smooth it out so we'll select the filler tool and i'll select all these edges just make sure you get all of them i don't want that whole face just the edges although it would probably do the same thing and it's a one millimeter fillet so there we go, there's, the, there's our body, no color. And now we're gonna add an appearance. So you can either right click on it, go down to appearance, or you can just press the shortcut key, A. I'm gonna go over here and plastics. So there's this ABS white. I'm gonna be using this for our button, as well as the bottom half. What I'm gonna do next is just duplicate it twice and set some custom colors so edit this will just be black and we'll drop that on the center ball there this next one we will edit and we'll make it red so I'm not too sure what red we can always change it if we don't like it drop it on and I'm actually quite happy with that red I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a comment like and subscribe it just helps me get more content out there until next time, bye.